if you end up feeling eternally parched or in constant hunt for jaws of rich creamy moisturizers when you visit your skincare aisle you know that you have dry skin and if you're looking for a skincare routine for dry skin you're here at the correct place Hi guys, I'm Dr. Jusha Bhatia Sareen, your dermatologist from New Delhi, India. And in this video, we are going to talk about how to effectively build a skincare routine for dry skin. When the skin loses too much water or is unable to retain the moisture already present in it, it becomes dry. This is called dry skin. A skin that is dry can end up feeling irritated, itchy, parched or can be constantly uncomfortable. It can also lead to formation of cracks if there is extreme dryness in the skin. Common causes of dry skin include low ambient humidity, the genetics, exposure to hard water or exposure to harsh irritants like constant exposure to water or other alcohol-based irritants, excessive washing of the face or the hands and certain medical conditions like hypothyroidism or low thyroxine levels and diabetes. Dry skin causes can be classified into external and internal. While there is not much you can do about the internal causes, certain external causes can be modified to help in your favor. These include changing bathing habits, changing the ambient humidity, and avoidance of harsh soaps. Now here is how to effectively build a skincare routine and the skincare practices you need to follow if you have dry skin. When the ambient humidity drops, your skin starts feeling dry. So while you're bathing, it is important to close the bathroom door to retain the moisture inside. Use warm or lukewarm water rather than hot water. It is best to limit the time of shower to 5 to 10 minutes and not exceed this time limit. Use a gentle non-forming cleanser to clean your body. Some of the recommendations I will provide in the description box below. While you're using a cleanser, use only so much so, so as to remove the dirt and the oil. You can limit the exposure of cleansers only to the neck region, the underarms, and the breasts and also in your intimate areas. It is absolutely okay to wash the rest of your body with plain water if you have dry skin. Avoid cleansers that lather too much or that foam too much. This can end up causing more dryness to your skin. When you step out of the shower, pat your skin dry rather than rubbing it dry. And within 3 to 5 minutes, move on to the next step of moisture application. This will help you retain the moisture that is present on your skin while bathing. Try using an ointment or a cream for your body and the face rather than lotions. Lotions can be less effective if you have dry skin. You can look for ingredients such as dimethicone, jojoba oil, mineral oil, petrolatum, lanolin, beeswax, oatmeal, lactic acid, hyaluronic acid, shea butter if you have dry skin. I will list these ingredients in the description box below as well. Choose a lip balm that suits your lips well. There is no one lip balm which works for all. If you have a lip balm that is fragrant or stinges your lips while you apply it or irritates or tickles it, it means this lip balm is not suiting you well and is irritating to your skin. Choose a lip balm that is fragrance free and not the one that is unscented. If it is labeled unscented, it means it has one or the other fragrances to mask the natural scent of the product. If you have extreme dry skin on the hands and you constantly need to engage yourselves in the job that exposes you to water, it is best to use housewife gloves that are easily available to do your work. These gloves are made of rubber but they are often lined with cotton to give you a soothing experience. As winters approach, you can try investing in a humidifier that maintains the ambient humidity and prevents your skin from getting drier. Also avoid direct or too close contact with heat or a fireplace. When it comes to effectively building a skincare routine for dry skin, only four steps are required. If one thing hasn't changed in our skincare routine since we were a baby, it's cleansing our face thoroughly in the morning. When it comes to cleansing your skin, the kind of cleanser you choose for your face makes the difference. Try a non-foamy cleanser for your face as well. Something that contains acetyl or a sterile alcohol is appropriate for you. It is going to hydrate your skin. You can try finding cleansers or cleansing milks rather than face washes. They are meant for dry skin. Don't just apply moisturizer once in the morning. You need to use your moisturizer two to three times a day in order to appropriately provide moisture to your skin. 
if you like to inculcate an active molecule you can do it under the layer of your moisturizer you can try using a vitamin c or a niacinamide or an azelaic acid these are non irritating and can suit your skin most of these help you with pigmentation issues as well try finding these products in serum or cream form this extra layer will also provide hydration to your skin Don't skip your sunscreen. Exposure to sun can lead to evaporation of water from the skin surface making it drier. So application of a sunscreen prevents dehydration of your skin. If you'd like to make some extra efforts for your dry skin, you can try using a sheet mask that contains biocellulose or hyaluronic acid immediately before you attend a party. This extra layer of moisture will make you comfortable and give you the kind of glow and plumpness you deserve. You can also try taking supplements that contain omega-3 fatty acids that help to maintain the skin's barrier and hydrate the skin. Good things come to those who wait, and this also holds true for skincare routines. Even if the best or the most expensive skincare products, you need to wait for 6 to 8 weeks to to start showing some difference. More consistent approach to skincare always works the best. So once you pick up a product, use it for three to four months to start observing some results. Stick to your routine for six to twelve months for best results. If you develop extreme kind of dryness, itching, irritation, or bleeding from your dry skin, or you do not know where to start with building your skincare routine, it is best to take help of a dermatologist before you start using your products. That's all from my side in terms of dry skin. If you have any more questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section below. Also, let us know what would you like to listen to next. If you found this video helpful, do not forget to click on the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching this video. See you guys in the next video. Till then, have a healthy skin.